Hey there, this is Shahid Chaudhary, Senior Technical Evangelist at Microsoft, and we're here to talk about Xbox One Dev Mode. I'm here with my buddy Dave. Hey Dave. Hello. So uh, we're going to talk about how you can use Microsoft's very own Visual Studio and show you some instructions and uh, how you can get your game up and running on your own Xbox One. That's right. So here you have a list of things to know. Uh, there are a couple of things you should know first before you get started with dev mode activation. Uh, but here are some of the results that we got from the latest build conference. Uh, Phil Spencer, who's the head of Xbox, he had a lot of stuff to share. Uh, so uh, Dave, what did you learn at build this year? Um, so I learned that UWP or universal windows uh, applications are coming to Xbox one. All right. Uh, so let's say if you were developing on Windows, uh, you would probably already have Visual Studio. If you don't, uh, there's a great free edition. Uh, yep. Visual Studio 2015 has a community edition, which is essentially equivalent to the pro version, uh, but it's free. Right. Uh, so the latest version is update two. So I would suggest that every developer get update two first before attempting to do the next steps. Yep. And there's also a, a Windows 10 uh, Insider program. Uh, so you, do you know more about that, Dave? Sure. The Windows 10 Insider program is essentially for not only developers, but consumers who want to have the latest and greatest updates um, that are available to Windows. So there's no guarantee that all the features will work, um, but if the idea is you're an early adopter, you want to try these things out, offer your feedback, and that's what that program is for. Right, right. So again, in case you're just waiting around for uh, features, you don't have to wait. You can get features early on, provide feedback. Uh, there's even a yep. new Windows 10 SDK to help you out, uh, get the best of uh, what Windows 10 has to offer. Mm -hmm. So this Windows Dev Center, that's been around for a while. You know, you and I have both published to the Windows platforms on Xbox right. and on Windows. Uh, Windows Dev Center, again, great place to get started. Uh, and there are also some third-party tools. So if you don't want to only work in Visual Studio and you've already started building games, let's say within Unity or Construct right. 2 or some other tools you've already used, uh, those are all yep. supported. You can export to UWP for Windows 10. Right, so you can work with a lot of our, our middleware partners to you know, take advantage of the tools they offer and get on the platform. Right, right. And, and to get on the platform, uh, you might be wondering, well, what about all these other services? Uh, so tell us a little bit more about the ID at Xbox program. Sure, the ID at Xbox program is for our independent developers at Xbox. And what it allows for is uh, developers who want to create gaming applications for the Xbox platform, but not, it's not limited to the console itself because it'll also work for Windows 10. So if perhaps you want to take advantage of a lot of the Xbox Live features that we have available, such as um, leaderboards, gamer score, avatars, all of that will be available through the ID at Xbox program, both for Windows 10 games, so that might be um, your typical desktop application, but also for your Xbox One game too. Right, right. And uh, if you want to uh, take a look at all these new ar news articles that came out of Build, again, there's a link right there uh, on this slide. Uh, what we'll do is we'll provide a link to the slides that you can download when you're watching the video online. And that way you yep. can click on the links yourself. All right, so uh, <clears throat> the next mode we have uh, Xbox One Dev Mode Activation. So obviously if you have to activate something, you need a set of instructions. Uh, right. The Xbox Support website has a huge FAQ that talks about, uh, just provides a lot of details, everything you need to know. Uh, the steps, yep. steps are definitely simpler than they look. Uh, as lo long as you get through the steps, you should be able to get your own, a very own Xbox One up and running. Right. And you've, you had an opportunity to go through this process yourself, I did, right? yes. So again, towards the end of the discussion, we'll show you a quick screenshot of how I had my own game exported to UWP and running on my own Xbox. Perfect. So how do you get started with that very first step? So doing UWP on Xbox One, uh, mm -hmm. there is uh, a couple of steps uh, to get started. So the getting started link is shown on the next slide after that. Uh, so before you start, you will have to create a Windows Dev Center account. Uh, join the Windows Insider program. So again, at the very beginning, we took a very high level overview, uh, a look at the steps you have to do. Uh, so each of these slides have links to how to, on how to do each of them. Yep, and this is gonna be a, a very similar process that you'd have for um, any other application store, whether it's Android, iOS, uh, whatever it may be. You're gonna have to register as a professional developer. Right, and these are very recently updated. So if you take a look at uh, the, per the author of the article, and the last updated day, you'll notice that they were updated around build. Yep. So uh, back to Visual Studio 2015. Uh, so here we have a slide on Visual Studio 2015 update two. Uh, so this one's very recent and it's not just for the Xbox stuff. Any, That's right. Anything you do with Visual Studio, whether you're building web apps or Windows apps or apps for other platforms, maybe you want to do some iOS and Android with Xamarin, everything you can be, do with Visual Studio, this update is good for. 
That's right. And the Insider program we talked about, it is available at insider.windows.com. Uh, yeah, and anyone can join that if they exactly. want. Exactly. It's not just restricted to a certain number of people. Anyone who right. wants to use Windows can get started, get free versions of uh, early versions of Windows. Mm -hmm. So once you get started, uh, if you sign in, you will find a link to the Windows SDK. So you log in, you scroll down, you get the preview SDK. And it's as simple as that. But because it is in preview, uh, what would you say, Dave, if someone wanted to install it on their one and only production development machine? Um, if it's your production scene, uh, machine, if you don't mind um, perhaps having some issues down the road, again, these are early tests that we're running and, and some of the latest features, I would consider at least having a backup of some sort. Uh, I'm of the mindset that I have a local backup of everything, as well as I use an external service such as Carbonite, which I'd highly recommend. Um, but for Windows as a whole, it's very easy to back your things up either through File uh, Restore. So that's um, a day-to-day -day backup service. I actually have it looking at certain folders and documents uh, each day. And every hour, it'll look to see for changes, and it'll keep those changes on an external hard drive. But additionally, what I just went through this week, actually, was I decided to wipe my machine um, and start fresh. So I wiped my machine, started fresh with Windows 10, only took me a few minutes. And I downloaded all the essential applications I needed again. So Visual Studio, Unity, Unreal Engine, things like that. And I kept a, uh, created a backup disk so that if I ever want to get back to that point, right, my fresh install with all the software I need to get going, I can just um, go back to that image and I'm ready to go in minutes. Right. So again, we uh, recommend that every developer have some sort of backup plan, whether it's a secondary machine or if yep. it's some backup on your primary machine. All right. On-prem, off-prem. Yep. Uh, so Windows Dev Center, again, really easy URL. It's dev.windows.com. Uh, it redirects to a slightly longer URL based on your region. But again, that's yep. the first place to get started. You log in, you get set up a dev account, and you can start downloading all the tools you need and get ready to publish. Yep. And hey, let me ask you, uh, do you know where developers would go specifically for Xbox? Is there an Xbox developer portal? Uh, there is, yeah. So they would have to apply for the ID at Xbox program. And, yep. and where can they go to start that? Uh, at xbox.com slash ID. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so before we get there, uh, I want to jump on third-party tools really quick. Uh, so sure. here I have a screenshot for a couple of third-party tools. Again, there's a lot more than just uh, Construct mm -hmm. 2 and Unity. Uh, these are just a couple of tools that I've been using personally in, in my own tutorials and my public yep. events. Uh, so both of these tools have an option for the Windows Store, so you can uh, export to Windows 10. And again, uh, just to let you guys know, it is in preview. Uh, so if you have any issues, uh, definitely provide some feedback to both the vendor and to Microsoft and we'll continue to update the tools uh, to make them better. So uh, setting up dev mode. Uh, I met yeah, talk about what your experience is. So my experience, uh, I have a couple of screenshots here directly from the uh, Microsoft website where you have step-by-step -step instructions. Uh, after you set up dev mode for your app, uh, you do have to point to the remote machine that you're running on. So instead of running locally or in a device that's attached to your machine, you set up uh, the option as remote machine. And if you're target device remote machine, you need to know its IP on your network. Uh, so as long as okay. you followed all the steps to activate your Xbox One, uh, you should get mm -hmm. an IP address that's visible on the top left of your dev app uh, on your Xbox One, and you insert that IP address uh, on your Visual Studio project, and that way it can find it. Okay. Yep. And there's an authentication mode. Uh, you should set it to universal and encrypted protocol, and that works on your local network. And uh, okay. that's all you need to start sending your universal app to your Xbox One. So essentially your Xbox is going to be another deployment target on your network, just as though you were trying to deploy to a remote device. That's correct. Uh, so there's one caveat. Uh, since this is in preview, uh, on your Xbox One, you can only have one preview program at a time. So okay. similar to Windows Insider for Windows 10, if you have the Xbox preview program where you're getting OS updates uh, early on before everyone yep. else, you would have to un unenroll from that program. And once you do that, uh, it might take a couple of days to uh, completely unenroll you from the program. Uh, but but okay. once that's done, uh, you should be able to then activate your dev mode activation app. Beautiful. Yep. All right. So on, on this, so one of the later slides here, I have a picture of my own TV where I'm running a Construct 2 game exported to uh, Windows um, yep. UWP, and it's running on my Xbox One. And not only that, Very nice. it actually has multiple controller support. Uh, so this game is actually on GitHub. So it is called Spacey Space Shooter on my GitHub, which is the same name as my Twitter handle, Shahid C. Uh, so again, if you wanted to download it, run it on Windows, uh, you could export it. Uh, and then uh, do go through all those steps to export it to run on your Xbox One as well. All right. 
So it seems like it's a very similar process as it was if you're just creating a, a Windows 10 desktop application. Exactly, yes. Uh, so uh, here's towards the end, I have an ID at Xbox Lite. So you, earlier you were asking about if there was That's a website right. for that. Foreshadowing. Exactly, yeah. And, and people ask that all the time. This is actually reflects the kind of feedback we get from the community. They want to know, hey, how do I uh, update my uh, you know, game uh, and how do I run it on my uh, Xbox? How do I apply for this program? Right. Well, it's xbox.com slash ID, which again, de depending on your location, may you redirect to a slightly longer URL. Uh, but yeah, that's your one-stop shot to apply for the program and register for ID at Xbox. Perfect. Uh, and is this something that everyone can apply for? What do you think? Yes, absolutely. So this program is open for everybody, whether you're a, an amateur, or a student, someone who's just getting into game development, or you're a veteran coming from the AAA industry. Uh, ID at Xbox is open for everybody. Yep. Uh, so what would be the main difference between ID at Xbox and, say, this UWP program that allows uh, any uh, retail console to work? Sure. Uh, through the ID at Xbox program, they're going to give you two free development kits, um, which, each, which allow you and your team of developers to get your project running and off the ground. Um, best of all, you'll have full access to the Xbox hardware uh, from day one, so you'll be able to create for what's called our exclusive partition and get your game off the ground. Um, and then pending uh, the approval process through the ID at Xbox program, you'll sort out a date that works best for you and your team to get your project out the door. All right. Uh, so uh, if I may uh, re repeat that, uh, if you apply to the ID at Xbox program, if you're approved, you get up to two free dev kits and you can purchase the yep. additional kits as needed. And uh, if you're still waiting for your approval, or if you haven't been approved, uh, you can just get your use your own Xbox One and use this brand right. new dev mode uh, to apply. Yep, so you can get started on your retail uh, kit right now. All right, so here I have a couple of tweets from ID at Xbox. So their, hash, uh, their uh, handle is at ID underscore Xbox on Twitter. And one of the things I've said is you don't have to be part of the ID at Xbox program first to start creating. Uh, but once you're ready to ship, definitely apply for the program uh, and let them know your idea. And now that you've actually started uh, you know, working on dev mode and you can uh, deploy to your console, you can test it a whole lot better than if you had just a Windows machine to try it on. Absolutely. Uh, so the final tweet at the bottom here, it says, uh, every game on Xbox One UWP or XDK, uh, either one, has access to the full life stack. So again, a lot of people have asked the same question, whether you want multiplayer, gamer score, achievements, etc. How, how do you get access to the full life stack? Uh, if you start on UWP and apply for the ID at Xbox program, uh, you can um, uh, use all these other features as well. Correct. All right. Uh, so we definitely expect to see a lot of games coming through the pipeline for this. And we thank you for your time. Thanks. Look forward to seeing what you're creating on our platform. All right.